Hey guys, it's Rayhan, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the most coins on a low budget during icon swaps using a method I like to call rash investing. So rash investing is one of the more uncommon or uh, one of the less talked about methods, uh, trading methods in FIFA 21, but I have found that it's one of the most profitable and I'm making this video because it's just such a good method and I feel like more people really need to know it, especially during icon swaps, which is gonna release very, very soon. So I wanna basically teach you guys how to use this method. So when 6 p.m. rolls around on icon swaps, you guys can make a lot of coins. So with that, I've wrote a little bit of a guide on icon swaps and basically how you can use it to make a lot of profit um, and basically this is a guide on how to rash invest during icon swaps so basically with rash investing what you are doing is you're quickly going to the objectives tab of fifa then you're going to go at 6 p.m right when it's 6 p.m you go over to icon swaps wherever it may be and you basically check the objectives and anytime there's an objective where you can get two tokens using one squad you're going to rash invest on players that can fit both of them so for an example um right here so uh with the last icon swaps basically what you could do you could complete uh the uefa champions league token and you could complete the portuguese token uh at the same time by using a ucl uh ucl team comprised of portuguese players and you could also do uh, the silver objective with the uh, air divisi objective by using a squad of silver and air divisi players. So basically, when that happened, uh, the cheapest silver air divisi players went up to like 5k, and the cheapest UCL Portuguese players went to like 3k. And I know um, Ruben Diaz is not here, but Ruben Diaz went up to like 10k. Jao Felix went up to like 9k, and uh, it was pretty crazy. They were all very very cheap before icon swaps, and then right after, they ended up rising quite a bit. Uh, so with this method, if you're a quick and you basically know what you're doing, it, you guys can be very, very profitable. And the great thing about this method is that you could really do it with as little as 25k. I would recommend having over 50k or even 100k. It makes it just a lot easier. But you can still make a lot of coins with about 25k. So uh, before we get into this, some tips regarding it is that you really have to do this quickly before other people start buying them because not only will they cut into your profits but if you aren't very experienced with it you can lose a lot of coins if you buy them too high so make sure you're quick with it and the spc slash objective has a high completion rate uh but with icon swaps everyone's going to be completing it and if you can do two tokens with one squad literally everyone will be completing it so it'll be these players will be in very very high demand so the latest you're going to want to buy these players at is 6 5 p.m so we have about five minutes or about 300 seconds to basically buy as many of these players as you can and i would recommend that you have your players selling by 6 10. Uh, so if once you get more experience with it you guys you can start to buy players a little bit later like sometimes i've seen that some players still weren't that inflated or weren't being that bought out like at 606 607 so i started buying them uh, but generally especially if you're new to this you do not want to buy past 605. Uh, 6 p.m. to 6.03 is generally the best time. 6.05 p.m. is when it really starts to get a bit inflated. So also, you're going to make sure that your players will be bought within that first relist. Uh, please relist them for an hour. Don't relist more than that. And make sure that they sell within the first relist, because if not, you can lose a lot of coins with it. Um, so for example, if uh, with UCL Portuguese players, let's say that the cheapest UCL Portuguese player was 5,000 coins. You're gonna sell that thing at, at uh, 4,700 coins or lower because you're gonna make sure that it sells. Uh, and make sure that they are selling by about 6, 10 p.m. And uh, yeah, so how to ration this. So basically this is the main part of the guide where I go step by step and basically show you guys how to make coins. So like I said, you're going to want to go to your objectives tab um, in case you guys don't know how to go there, basically here's the uh, main FIFA menu. You go to the left one, objectives, icon swaps will be a little bit lower here on objectives. And you basically want to go to icon swaps. Uh, let's just say this is icon swaps. Go down and find the objective. Generally, there's about four objectives. So with the last time, they basically had it where you could do silvers and air divisi at the same time, UCL Portuguese at the same time. So find whatever that may be. Uh, at one point it was silver and Chinese league. Basically the objectives were to complete two tokens with one squad. You are going to basically want to rash invest in that. Uh, so like I said, 
using the Portu Portuguese and UCL cards as an example, uh, you're gonna ration invest in Portuguese UCL cards. So um, I didn't completely write it, but basically I, I ration invested in Jao Felix because attackers tend to do a little bit better. Uh, I'll go a little bit more in depth on that in a little bit, but I ration invested Jao Felix. He was about 1.5K. I ration invested, bought about four of him, and I was able to sell up at about 8K or so. So I was able to make a ton of coins on that. Uh, and please, when you're rash investing, do not rash invest on a card with like 30 or 40 pace. Um, also, scarce positions. Uh, so, for example, if there's a team, and basically, let's say out of all of the possible um, possible players that there is, there's only maybe two of them being a left back. So you're gonna want to invest in left backs. It's pretty confusing, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys kind of understood what I meant by that. So. Yeah, uh, anyways, like I said, please invest in players that will actually be bought up. A great example of a player that is usually bought up for icon swaps is Lasagna. As you can see with his footbin graph, he rises up very high when icon swaps comes out, then he comes back down, and then when icon swaps, he goes back up because he's very, very pacey. That's basically what a lot of people look for. They just look for pace. Um, so yeah, players with pace are very good. Uh, so again, using UCL Portuguese as an example, I saw that in terms of the UCL Portuguese center backs, there weren't too many that were uh, that had good stats or that great. So I was able to invest in Ruben Diaz because he has some pretty nice stats, and he was able to go up to about eight or nine k. So make a lot of coins on that. And if you if this is like your first time rash investing, just go for attackers because attackers are gonna get bought up a lot more and they will be in demand more for rash investing on icon swaps. So if this is your first or second time doing icon swaps or first or second time doing rash investing, I would recommend just investing in attackers. Strikers do the best. So like I said, make sure that these cards are not inflated. They aren't too high already. Uh, and you could make sure that you don't buy cards that are inflated if you are buying before 6.05 p.m. So you have about a five minute buying period. Uh, and always account for EA's 5% tax. Uh, a lot of new investors tend to forget about that and make sure that they sell in the first real list, like I said before. So using a couple examples from traders, um, these are basically the steps that they've said. So Gangster Meerkat said, at 6 p.m. go to the objectives and basically see what icon swaps can be done at the same time, like which, if you can do two tokens with one squad, Buy as many players that fit both requirements, and yeah, like you said, so silver CSLs went to 7,000 coins, and you got to be quick. Uh, Surge said, to go to Icon Swaps objectives, see the requirements, and see what can be done at the same time. Uh, oh, so yeah, limited alternatives, that's what I meant. So if there's not too many alternative players you could buy, make sure you rush invest in those, and like you said, attackers always do well. So basically, that's my guide. So guys, what I'm going to do right now is I'm basically going to provide an example of what I would be doing right at 6 p.m. when Icon Swap releases. So just right now, just imagine the clock has just hit 6 p.m. I'm going to launch Ultimate Team, uh, wait for it to load. So again, you just ha you have 300 seconds to buy as many players as you can. You have a five minute buying period, so you have to be really, really quick with it, and you have to make sure that you are buying the right players, the best players. So I'm going to do first thing I see, go to objectives, uh, icon swaps will be right here. Let's just pretend that this right here is icon swaps. I'm gonna go and one of the ones where you can combine and do two tokens with one squad is going to be silver and uh, the Mexican league. So basically what I'm gonna do, go quickly to the transfer list, uh, transfer market, uh, just go over to silver and go over to the Mexico league uh, as fast as I can without skipping it, Mexican league right here. So what you can do, you could basically just go see the cheapest ones right here. Um, again, when they're at 200 coins, there's literally no risk with it. Uh, again, I'm gonna stay away from this guy because he has 38 pace, but I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. Also, goalkeepers aren't that great, but again, uh, the, you are gonna basically be making profit on all of these guys because they will rise to well over 4,000 coins, 3,000 coins when Icon Swap releases. So you're gonna exit and sort items later, go back to the transfer market, and now this time you're gonna go over to forwards, and you might wanna set this a little bit higher. Uh, and bam, 450. You could buy both of these. Again, 71 pace and 70 shooting is very nice. Lots of people will be uh, b looking to buy a striker, and this guy, uh, some of them will be buying him. So again, that so far it's been about uh, one minute, maybe one and a half minutes, and basically that's all you're going to be doing. 
just trying to buy as many players as you can. So as an example, really quickly, if I see these are like my four choices of players, I'm gonna stay away from this nurse guy because the stats are not very good and appealing. Uh, Cisneros I could buy, but 700 will be a, I wouldn't like to spend 700 on a player like him. Uh, I would most likely go for this Lozano card because what a lot of people go for is just pace. Um, so with it, basically that's my quick guide uh, on rash investing for icon swaps. If you guys like these rash investing videos, I will uh, basically do it with, you know, whenever content releases or I'll do one with marquee matchups. Both are extremely profitable and made a ton of coins when that Jimenez SBC released. Uh, and I could I could make more videos like that. I'm, I'm quite good at rash investing if I say so myself. And I would love to help you guys out. So if you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to leave a comment in the uh, comment section of this YouTube video. And be sure to join my Discord server. We have a ton of traders in there like myself uh, willing, to help you guys, willing to help you guys in terms of FIFA trading by giving you guys FIFA tips and 24-7 trading support. And we also have a pretty nice community there. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe like with a bell and be sure to follow my other socials link in the description and be sure to join the discord server see you guys in the next video